I'm glad Mr. Lehman put us together. You know, you're not like those other guys who get all weird around me. No, I'm pretty much just weird all the time, so it doesn't really stand out. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing works for you. <laughs> I should get home. I'll see you in class tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll grab us a table by the eyewash station. Those seats go fast. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to see the weirdness. <laughs> <laughs> She likes you. What? No, she, she's my lab partner. No, 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 she gave you the shoulder brush. She likes you. What do you mean? When she walked out the door, she gave you the shoulder brush. She was marking you, buddy. <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> what, Joe, you seriously think that? I'm just not making this stuff up, pal. Girl gave me the shoulder brush once. We didn't come out of her apartment for three days. <laughs> was it snowing or something? <laughs> oh, oh. So you're gonna ask around? Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. She's, um, she's got a lot of stuff going on in her life. In fact, she's actually... You know what, I'm hearing a lot of excuses. Question is, if you could, would you go out with her? Sure, but, you know, I don't think it would work. If you really want to, you can make it work. But, Joe, I don't think you're hearing me. Um, what I'm trying to say is that... Dude, here comes another excuse. Shoulder brush. Boom. <laughs> Case closed. You know what? You're right. I will ask her out. Oh, thanks, Joe. No need to thank me. Just consider it a public service. <laughs> I just gave you a free scholarship, buddy, to the Longo Institute of Lady Lovin'. <laughs> Don't tell your aunt that's what I call that college. Yeah, understood. And this is my boyfriend, Joe Longo. Well, hi. He's a waiter. Uh, I like showing you off. Can I be proud? She's right to be proud. Having a good-looking piece of man meat on your arm? Never heard a campaign. <laughs> oh, sorry to call you man meat. No, I'm okay with that. You know, you're just calling it how you see it. <laughs> Joe, you know Janie. She's handling my campaign for next year. Absolutely. That's a smart move. You know, she's got excellent taste in, um, in man meat. <laughs> Actually, I'm a pescatarian. You and me both, baby. <laughs> Can I get you, uh, lady, something from the bar? Oh, no drinking for me. This is a work event. Put it in a water glass, keep it clear. She's good. The South Martini coming right up. Hey, Mel, heads up. That reporter from the Herald, the one with the bad breath. Okay, you're gonna have to be more specific. <laughs> kind of garlicky smelling. No, no, no. Do you have a name? Bill Nitsky? <clears throat> He's going to ask you about Bellflower Concert Hall. The Historical Society is making another run to save that precious dump, but the developers want to tear it down. So what you need to do is... Make everybody to... think I'm on their side. So just charm them. No sweat. Not my first time at the butt-kissing rodeo. 